When you set up an Office 365 email account, all emails that are sent to the account go into a page on in the Microsoft Office 365 called Outlook or Mail. As we have an LGFL account, we need to make sure that all emails received in that account are transferred to our LGFL account. Therefore, the first thing we have to do is log in to our Office 365 page. So from our website, if you click on the Office 365 icon, we come to the login page. Here we type in our unique sign-on, which is jtantra.212 in my case, at office365.paddock.wandsworth.sch.uk. And you just hit sign in at this stage. You do not put the password in, you just click sign in. What then happens is that obviously you're redirected using because you're using your unique sign-on from LGFL to the Microsoft website. It ch checks that uh, it's a valid um, access point like the site or the school and all the rest of the things that go with it. And then eventually what happens is you end up where you're going to put in your password. This is where you put in your password and then you click sign in. Once it's been authenticated, make sure that the tenant has got a paddock school there that is very important once that's all done and you signed in you actually go straight into office 365 now 365 has got a lot of little tile windows there but the one that we are looking out for at the moment is outlook or usually called mail they keep changing this from outlook to mail to outlook to mail but i don't know why but that's microsoft for you so basically you've got that there and you click on the Outlook or Mail which is the left hand window or tile. Once you click on that window you come to your login, your, your mail page. Now this is where you can have your inbox, outbox, sent items, deleted items just like any old online mail service. But basically all that's happening here is all emails sent to the Microsoft account end up there. But we need to access and make sure that all emails received in this go into your LGFL account. So, the first thing you have to do is to go into the little gear on the right hand side, which is next to the picture or the image of yourself, and choose options. You've got a few other little options here, but the one that you have to choose is options. Once you've chosen options, you will be then sent to a window that will allow you to make sure that everything that you receive in this email box here is sent to your LGFL account. So you go into mail and then from mail you have to choose the inbox rules option which is about the fourth or the fifth one down underneath mail. So when you click on inbox rules you come up with a window that allows you to say which mail do you want to send it to and um, which type of mails uh, that you receive you want. In our case it's going to be everything that we receive in here and we're going to redirect it to our LGFL account. Okay, Just read the instructions on the bottom, they are quite useful. But you click on the plus sign on the left hand side to add a rule. Now here we're going to add a rule and once you add the rule you can put a name in. The name can be anything. In my case I put received in Office 365 account and forwarded to my LGFL account. I've been very specific here. Now when the message arrives, well this applies to all my emails and where am I going to send it? I'm going to send it to my tantraj at paddock.wandsworth.sch.uk account. Once I'm happy with all that I can see that I have been set up here and all my emails are sent to that. If I want to add other people, I can add other people, but that is not a good idea because you don't want other people to see your emails that you're receiving in the Microsoft account. But anyway, in this case, all we're going to do is we're going to say OK and then we're going to move on. And that's it really for the time being. Basically, we've done what we need to do. One thing whilst we're here, I mean, you might be thinking, well, how do I get my picture up there? Well, you click right click on the picture and then what happens is that you have a little button there which says change underneath my picture as you can see there and then what you do is click on that change option and you should come up with an option 
to see a folder you can either delete the existing one or you can actually choose a picture from anywhere that you've saved your picture of yourself and put that in there once you've done that your picture will actually appear on the office 365 um, portal it's quite useful and looks nice as well finally to log out you just click on the picture again and you can see sign out at the bottom and that's it hope it's pretty straightforward but we just need to do this before we can actually start using office 365 portal many thanks for watching thank you any questions please give me a buzz